basic ejection click is the click in pulmonary stenosis when the stiff valve opens. It varies with respiration and is better heard in expiration. It is the only right sided event which is better heard in expiration. Phasic ejection click is usually associated with post-tenotic dilatation of pulmonary artery. In contrast to the phasic pulmonary ejection click, the pulmonary vascular ejection clicks heard in other situations in which the pulmonary artery is dilated does not vary significantly with respiration. Aortic ejection click is also non-phasic with little variation during respiration. Mechanism of phasic ejection click During inspiration, the systemic venous return increases and enhances the right ventricular filling. This elevates the right ventricular end diastolic pressure causing a cephalad excursion of the pulmonary wall at the end of diastole. Hence, the opening movement during systole is less as the valve is already partially domed at the end of diastole. In expiration, the right ventricular and diastolic pressures are lower and pre-systolic doming of pulmonary valve does not occur. Hence, the systolic excursion of pulmonary valve is more in systole and produces a prominent click. The click is nearer to first start sound in inspiration, apparently fusing with it and moves away from the first start sound in expiration. Phasic ejection clicks arising from the dilated iota can be heard in tetralogy of fallow. Just like the phasic ejection click of valvar pulmonary stenosis, it is better heard in expiration. Phasic ejection click in tetralogy of fallow can be heard in the second right intercostal space aortic area, though it may be heard in pulmonary area, second left intercostal space and at the apex. In tetralogy of fallow, there is no pulmonary ejection click as the pulmonary stenosis is infundibular in location. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.